What's up everybody, just doing a chill video showing off a few art prints I got, and voila, it's on the wrong side. But I got these off of Imprint, which has a ton of different artists on there. And they have a lot of different options and sizes, but I usually just go with the basic 12 inch one. But they're kind of nice because they come with this white border, so it looks like it's already framed. But before I get ahead of myself, let's get these out of the plastic bag. So we'll just give her a little smooch here. So yeah, these are printed on a cotton rag paper, so they are sturdier and thicker than your average print, and it doesn't have that glossy finish. But if you don't recognize this one, this is Makima from Chainsaw Man, with her iconic eyes that just stare into your pathetic soul. But this is done by the artist Fuwa, and as you can see, they did an amazing job with the lighting and shading on everything. It's just absolutely beautiful, especially the wrinkles on her shirt done with no line art. But what I think is really neat is that the bottom half doesn't have any shine or highlights, so when you look at the whole picture, it really pulls your focus to the face. But moving on, we have a print of Katamari Damashi, which, if you haven't played, it's such a unique and silly game. But this one is done by Alicia Chen, and I mean this one is just so aesthetically pleasing. So if you're unaware, in the game you roll around and you pick up all sorts of random objects, and things get messy and chaotic, but seeing all these objects is kind of organized and lined up is just so very satisfying. And I don't think there's a lot of Katamari merch out there, so definitely glad I picked this one up. Next, we got a Prince of Metal Gear Solid, or Metal Gear. Um, this one is actually the most expensive. The previous two were $20, but this one is $30. But this is done by Dave Raposo, which I believe also does art for Magic the Gathering. But you can see there's a lot going on here, tons of characters and details. So I really wish I could have gotten a bigger dimension, but it would have been like $45 for a 21 by 24 inch print, which isn't too bad, but it also jacked up the shipping cost like crazy. Anyways, this is a print of just Metal Gear Solid 1, so it doesn't include the craziness of all the other games. But it's just nice to see everybody looking like actual people since the original game was on PS1 and they all looked like Minecraft characters. So I finally got around to hanging these three and all my extra imprints on this wall, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, ideally, I would have loved to frame all these, but you know, that's extra money I could be spending on figures. And it would have been annoying to get the right dimension of frames for everything. But yeah, thanks for watching, subscribing would be awesome, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye